Hello and welcome to sheet metal folding bending calculations. This is a video um, I'm going to show how sheet metal reacts when folded in a press break um, or any other way but this example here has been folded in a press break. We're going to look at bend allowance, bend deduction, K factor, inside radius and outside radius. Now this piece here you can see has been folded in a press break. What I've done is I've scanned it so I can get it onto this software which then, which I'll show you now, <clears throat> I can measure and work out, well not work out, I can show from dimensioning on here and measuring the sizes that I give them. And from these sizes I can use the calculations, the formulas which then when I work them out will be exactly the same or near enough the same as these. So this is to scale as well. This is why this rule is here. I made sure it was to scale. And the material is 0.9 Zintec or just 0.9 steel. Uh, bent at a 90 degree angle in an 8mm V. Now an 8mm V, if people don't know, is the bottom tooling used in the press break and that we need to know for these calculations that I'm going to show you so that's what that's that information start off with the thickness we'll look at so I've di mentioned in this software I've drawn these lines as you can see and I'll dimension it at 0 0.8888 which the thickness will very rarely come at 0.9 whenever thickness you have it usually will come a little bit under so that's the thickness. The inside radius here, you can see, comes out at 1.2. And that's the inside radius just here of this folded part. You can also calculate the inside radius by 0.15 times 8. Now we get the 8 from this 8mm V here. So whichever bottom V you're using, if you do 0.15 times that bottom V width, that will give you the inside radius. So for this example, 0.15 times 8 equals 1.2. And our inside radius is 1.2. The next, uh, we'll look at the outside radius, which is 2.1, which is inside radius plus the thickness of the material, which is 0.9 which will give us 2.1 so that works out okay um, now we have the K factor now the K factor is the ratio of the position of the neutral axis to the material of the thickness which basically says that down here but what we've done so I've dimensioned from the K factor line and the K factor also actually is it's the location of the of the folded part or the sheet that is that isn't stretched or compressed when folded. So this line here will always it goes up to here through the radius and along. This is the line through the steel that will always stay the same size. So I've dimensioned from here to the inside um, of the material which is 0 0.402 now to get the K factor we divide this by the material thickness so if we do 0 0.402 divided by 0 0.9 the material thickness will give us 0 0.44 now 0 0.44 will be the K factor 0 0.44 is usually the K factor. People use that commonly for the K factor 0.44. Personally, I usually do this to work out more precisely because we need it to be very precise. But on most, a lot of the software I'm using now, um, this software will put the K factor as 0.44 as default. And I know other softwares that will do the same. And in workshops, people use 0.44. Um, I was just showing how to work it out if you needed to be more accurate. Um, now we come on to the bend radius. 
and the length of arc. <clears throat> sorry, so the bend, oh sorry, we'll do the length of arc. So the length of arc, and then we have brackets BA, this is the bend allowance. So this is the length, I'll zoom in so we can see this, of this arc here, which is on the neutral line. Okay, and then we have the bend radius, which is the the radius of this neutral axis line, which is 1.6. Okay, now I'm going to show you, I'll leave that zoomed in. Now if I go on to here, this is it folded in the software that I use. So this is just, just so I can see, just a folded piece, exactly the same as this. It's just this I folded myself in a press break and got the dimensions. This is to show it so I can flat pattern it to explain what the bend allowance and bend deduction is. So we have the length of the arc, the bend allowance, and the bend radius, bend deduction. Okay. So now I can flat pattern this. So, the bend, I'm just going to get a measuring tool. So the bend allowance, to get the bend allowance, I need to measure the bend extents. Now the bend extents are these dotted lines. This dashed slash dotted line is where the material is folded. That's right in the middle. So when the tooling comes down in the press break, that's where it will fold. And this is the bend extents, where the radius goes. So if I measure between the bend extents, we have 2.5, as you can see. Now, if we go to bend allowance, this is the formula for bend allowance. So we've got BA, which equals bend allowance, equals pi. Then we have times A divided by 180, times R plus K times T. Okay, so now how are we going to apply this, uh, these numbers to the equation is A is angle which is 90 R is inside radius which equals 1.2 K is K factor and then T is thickness the material thickness so now if we work the brackets out first which is 90 divided by 180 it's 0.5 1.2 which is the inside radius plus 0.44 which is the K factor times 0.9 which is the thickness equals 1.596 then if we add all that together pi times 0.5 times 1.596 equals 2.5 okay so if we go back and as I show we measure this bend extent which is the bend allowance it is 2.5 or you can see up here the minimum distance it is 2.5 so that works out okay so even if we go back to folded, we see that was 2.576, we had it as 2.566, okay? So that has folded exactly the same on that as it has in this software, and which will then work out exactly the same to this bend along equation, okay? Now we have the radius of the neutral axis at 1.64 we had 1.61 a little bit of difference but it really doesn't matter uh, 1.6 is what it is okay so now to find the bend allowance on this part go to flat pattern if we go to the measuring tool again so now Actually, firstly, I'll show you on here. Now, the I hope you can see that there. This angle here is 50 by 50. Okay, so this is where a lot of people would think if it's 50 by 50, a flat pattern should be 100. Okay, so that's what a lot of people would naturally think, but it's not. So if we go to bend deduction, sorry, uh, go to the flat pattern again. Now if I measure from here to here, 
it comes out as 98.3 okay so that's 1.6 1.7 smaller than 100 mil now that's because when we fold this material it will stretch and the amount it will stretch by will be 1.6 1.7 so if we cut that 100 mil then 50 mils would be bigger you see you do one size at 50 mil you'd have correct and the other side would be 1.7 mil bigger so that's the bend deduction and if we see here this is the calculation for it this second part here after the minus that's bend allowance okay so this is the bend deduction tan then we have angle divided by 2 times r which is inside radius plus the t which is thickness the same I've shown here 90 divided by 2 which is here equals 45 1.2 inside radius plus 0.9 which is thickness equals 2.1 which we also know is the outside radius um this is the calculation to get 4.2 and then all we do is take that 4.2 as you see here minus the bend allowance gives us 1.7 1.7 bend deduction so if I was going to create this part then I would cut my flat sheet at ninety eight point three and if I cut my flat sheet at ninety eight point three the angle both flanges would come out at fifty mil okay hopefully I've explained that in a way that you can understand it if you have any questions on sheet metal or these bend allowance calculations that you don't understand from this video um just comment like the video. Um, and I'll get back to you or if there's any other sheet metal videos you'd like to be done let me know um, I'll do I'm looking at doing some pattern development so if there's anything you'd like to know just let me know thank you for watching